Uh, greetings, comrades. Uh, how are you? We asked you to send a list of questions so that uh, we will try our level best to respond. Uh, thank you to all of you who sent questions and uh, thanks for participating. Uh, uh, let's get into the questions. We will, of course, answer those that you are able to answer. Those that you are not able to answer, we will not do so. Uh, as we said, that uh, we learn from each other. So most of you might have uh, uh, better answers than the answers we might uh, provide. Uh, we start with Comrade Peginko's math. Comrade Peginko's math writes, uh, or he asks, is Zimbabwe a failed state? We, we have explained this uh, question, Comrade Peginko Simaf. <clears throat> Uh, I'm sure you saw the video that you recorded. Uh, if you go to YouTube channel, it in, uh, Zimbabwe is not a failed state. And, and uh, most people think that Zimbabwe is a failed state on the basis that uh, unemployment is high. We are told that close to 80% or so people should pay the workplace. They are not. They are actually in the uh, informal sector. Uh, they are uh, schools, we are actually struggling in our schools. Uh, um, our infrastructure has collapsed, the economy has collapsed, and therefore the conclusion is that uh, Zimbabwe is a failed state. Uh, but, but we argue, uh, uh, as we argue to that, it is not a failed state because we define the state uh, from a class perspective. Uh, we do not define the state from a liberal view. Uh, 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 as, as definition or as, as, as they will define it uh, which talks about freedom, rights of individuals and so forth but uh, we, we are saying the state emerged as a result of class struggles uh, so this is why we have a state and the state is an organ of class rule it advances the interest of one class over the other and we are saying the Zimbabwean state has never failed the class that it represents. So, uh, and from that point of view, or from a class perspective, yes, Zimbabwe is not a failed state. It's, it is a strong state. Uh, uh, if you also understand the threats uh, to Mtwara's activists by President Mnangakwa the other day, you will understand that uh, Zimbabwe indeed is a strong state. And also the arrest of opposition activists across the country uh, tells you that uh, the state is ready to respond or to send heavily to anyone who threatens its own. Uh, so this is why we give this definition, Comrade Peginko Simafu. We will, at some point, uh, define liberalism, <coughs> uh, 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 the state from a liberal point of view, so, so that you understand. Uh, uh, why liberals will say the state uh, uh, has failed, but from a class perspective, uh, it, uh, it has not failed. Uh, Comrade Douglas in Jinganze Mahungo, I'm doing okay, Comrade. I hope you are fine uh, wherever you are, Comrade, and uh, thanks for asking. Uh, Comrade Mbizo Forum writes Is EFF position on African migrants politically sustainable? Uh, we spoke about the rise of neoliberalism, not only in South Africa, but in, an, in a number of African countries. Uh, this, this obviously started uh, in North America with the president, uh, uh, former president Donald Trump. We saw it uh, in, in uh, Western Europe. Uh, uh, but, but of course, what, what is interesting in the last few days is that Britain uh, is now opening up its borders uh, to refugees from Ukraine. But we know that uh, Britain has been closing off uh, 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 to, micro to migrants, uh, 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 whether they are coming from Syria, uh, coming from Africa and elsewhere, but they are opening up their borders to migrants from Europe. And they've asked uh, uh, British families to, to provide accommodation or to accommodate uh, refugees from uh, Ukraine and uh, obviously that is done along uh, racial lines because uh, 
migrants from Europe are white. So uh, because we know Britain is a, a racist country, they, they will not open up their borders to anyone from Iraq, as, as, as uh, one lady was saying in the other video that I saw. Uh, they will not open up their borders or homes to refugees from Syria, but they will open up their borders from uh, uh, <coughs> refugees from uh, East, uh, 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 Ukraine. But, but on your specific question, Comrade Imbizo Forum, uh, we see the rise of right-wing formations in South Africa as well. Uh, so whether uh, the position of economic freedom fighters is sustainable, uh, this uh, will be seen uh, in the 2024 20, elections. Of course, you know, EFF has a lot of contradictions. Uh, 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 which I think we've dealt with uh, so, so some of the contradictions uh, uh, inside the AFF, but uh, uh, they speak well of uh, 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 African unity. Uh, 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 so we will see how South Africans uh, will respond uh, to the uh, what freedom, uh, economic freedom fighters is saying. Uh, uh, but but like I'm saying. Uh, it, it, it has so many contradictions uh, in it on a number of policy issues. Uh, so we are not sure. And we also remember that uh, they once, once visited some malls uh, in the name of inspecting uh, who works uh, in the malls and so forth, the nationalities, uh, the quota system. So, but but uh, we will continue to start them, engage on, on what they raise. Uh, Comrade Tandon Jovu, Right. Morning, comrade. You have been discussing and by EP payments on social media channels up, but I've asked you give light on what is happening in the Bayama Aslam extension. You just gone all. Nitera Usiza over no response from the Department of Home Affairs since we did online extension. Uh, uh, we are struggling to get a response from the Department of Home Affairs on the uh, uh, extension of asylum documents. Uh, you are correct that uh, they said uh, people whose uh, asylum documents expired, I think, 20th of March 2020, they needed to apply online. They provided the email and it appears you are one of those who have not been responded to. Uh, so we are struggling to get a response from them. So we do not know whether the, the department is understaffed uh, in the refugee section or what. We, we, we do not know uh, uh, whether they have enough staff who are actually responding to those emails, but we are receiving many complaints uh, uh, from the migrant community who are holders of asylum documents. So we will continue writing and engaging the Department of Home Affairs, but on that so far, we do not have any luck. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and then Comrade Latini Dumbe, my brother, writes, will coalition work in future? Well, well I'm not sure uh, uh, which coalition, whether in South Africa or Zimbabwe, uh, Comrade Latini Dumbe, but uh, coalitions, obviously, because uh, you will be bringing political parties that uh, have different ideologies, different programs. So uh, it, it will never be smooth. It will always uh, uh, go into challenges be because of ideological differences. But I'm not very sure uh, whether you are asking about a coalition in local government uh, 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 in South Africa, as we have seen. A, a number of municipalities under coalition uh, or whether you are asking whether uh, in the context of Zimbabwe I'm not very sure but uh, what what we know is that uh, coalitions will always run into problems because parties uh, have different political ideologies <coughs> uh, Comrade Tawanda Mshanga asks says why is Zek rigging elections uh, it's because it is a tool of the regime. Uh, it wants the ZANU PF to remain in power. Uh, 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 we, we, uh, 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 the comrade that asked about uh, the state, uh, 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 comrade, uh, uh, who's this? Comrade Peginko uh, uh, So, if you understand this question, 
uh, uh, whether the state failed and when we define the state in class terms, it therefore follows that ZEC uh, is an organ of the state. Uh, uh, it is used to rig elections on behalf of, of ZANU PF. Uh, 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 so that it retains po political power. This, this is why the military or ex-military men are, are deployed into Z to ensure that uh, uh, the opposition does not win an election. Uh, uh, so uh, that, that's why they are, they are rigging the elections. Uh, Comrade Moshaba, I am powerful, writes, Ngulungile na uutumonga meni esabise ugubulala Abang aponing aso linye laye. Uti num teto se segelo om shabo o ilizwe na loko. This obvious is in reference to what uh, President Emerson Nangagwa said in Chitungwiz. Uh, when, when he said that Mpwaga's uh, uh, um, activists who are for secession will face death. That, that, that's the basically what he, what he was saying uh, in his comment in Chitungwiz and uh, Comrade Moshaba. You are asking if uh, this is correct and what does the constitution say or the United Nations and the country's constitution. First and foremost, Comrade Moshe, I have dealt with this question that in every nation has a right to succeed uh, or self-determination. Uh, uh, it is entrenched even in the UN Charter. Uh, every every uh, uh, one who wants to uh, 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 go either way, uh, self-determination, yes, has a right to do so. You recall that uh, we did discuss this when, when we're looking into uh, the national question as written by Stalin. I can't remember whether he wrote in the early 1920s, I can't remember the exact year, uh, but he wrote the national question and uh, he speaks about the self-determination and we said that uh, 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 if the people of Mtwagazi uh, one self-determination, it is their right. Uh, uh, Emerson Nangakwa has no right to be threatening anyone. Uh, uh, what uh, he should be doing as the president is to respond to the reasons why the uh, some went out of Zimbabwe. And, and we have said that in, had, uh, we never had the fifth Kukuraonde or genocide in Matebeland and the parts of Midlands uh, has uh, if the government of Zimbabwe had uh, treated everyone equal to an extent that no one feels that is a second class citizen, people will not be talking about what Mtoga's activists are talking about. So he should be attending to those issues as opposed to threaten threatening people. And uh, uh, we do not even understand uh, why his focus was on Mtoga's activists in a rally uh, uh, which uh, 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 is about the elections, by elections on the 26th of March, uh, MRP and N. Adam Torah's uh, formation, they are not taking part in the by election. So we do not understand why he had to choose uh, to speak about that uh, in Chitungu. Uh, he was in Bulawayo, he was in Matebele and he never spoke about that, but decided on his last rally in Chitungu uh, to speak about this. But, but like, like was saying that in uh, everyone has a right to self-determination. Uh, uh, but, but of course, uh, what we can debate later on is whether do the majority of the people of Matebele and once uh, want out. Uh, uh, but at the moment, uh, it doesn't look like uh, this is what the people of Matebele and want. If we are to use the rallies uh, that we have seen in the build-up to the uh, by-elections, we saw ZANU-PF rallies in Matebele and we saw uh, triple C rallies in Matebele and it is clear that the people of Matebele and are divided between triple C and, and uh, ZANU PF. So uh, uh, the issues that uh, Nangako was raising, we do not understand uh, uh, why, why he found it uh, uh, proper to raise those issues in Chitungwiza. Uh, Comrade Jabu Hangami writes, did we have Porters pre Berlin in Daba? <coughs> we did not have the borders that we are having. But if you start the, uh, 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 the emergence of uh, 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 African states, uh, you know that uh, there was an area, people were organized into clans. Uh, uh, particularly if you start in Fetan, you could not just walk from uh, Basoto 
to uh, uh, Eswatini uh, uh, through another kingdom as, 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 as it were uh, to, during that time. Uh, while we did not have these borders, but uh, uh, it was known that uh, this is Wazulu, uh, this is Wandevele, uh, this is Basoto, uh, this is Swat area, and so forth and so forth. Uh, uh, but uh, we did not have uh, this kind of borders where you will be asked a passport and so forth. Uh, 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 and and uh, the, the borders that we now have, they were drawn up by uh, uh, the colonizers. Some argue uh, that we had uh, about a thousand states in Africa before colonialism, and now we've reduced to about 52 or 53 uh, 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 states in, in Africa. Uh, Comrade Patissa, Breast Nefgan Debele writes, Will the EFF lose or gain supporters after arresting a vigilante? Uh, uh, I've tried to answer this question as posed by Comrade Mbizo Forum. Uh, the next election in South Africa is in 2024. Uh, so if we'll be around, uh, uh, we will uh, uh, be able to understand if uh, 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 that will contribute to the vote by EFF. But what, what I found uh, uh, interesting is that within the migrant community, uh, EFF is, is gaining lots of sympathy. Uh, 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 but we know that the migrants do not vote in South Africa. Uh, 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 and of course, uh, they are progressive South Africans uh, who are anti what is happening. And it does not mean that they will vote EFF. They belong to the ANC, SACP, COSATO, and the other political formations. Uh, and like I said, that there are other contradictions within the EFF. So it is not going to win or lose elections on the basis of its stance uh, uh, on uh, towards migrants, so to speak. Uh, Comrade Jeff Pandlayem Lung has said, right, since Nangakwa took office, what can you say about Zimbabwe's contemporary? Uh, uh, look, Comrade Jeff, as, as uh, Trevor Nube summed it up, that uh, there were expectations from men that uh, Nangakwa was going to be different from Mugabe. You also remember that uh, the late Morgan Zwang Rai uh, he had to travel to Arare from his sick bed in South Africa uh, 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 for the inauguration of Nangakwa in 2017. You will also know that uh, the likes of Chamisa and others were part of the inauguration. We also saw the Nangakwa Chiwenga motorcade uh, uh, visiting Tswang Rai's home when he was ill, uh, accompanied by Nelson Chamisa. You will also remember the Deputy Minister for Africa in Britain was also present at the inauguration. So, so there was a lot of expectation, as I'm saying that how Trevor never summed it up. But uh, 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 the crocodile, uh, as, as is known, uh, 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 is doing what a crocodile does. Uh, so nothing has changed uh, uh, since uh, Nangakwa took over. There's no difference between uh, uh, Nangakwa and, and uh, Mugabe. Uh, uh, he has tried to end uh, international isolation, but is not winning on that score either. So nothing much has changed. It has remained the same. So the so-called Second Republic is just as good as the First Republic. Uh, Comrade uh, Willati Kanye writes, 2023, uh, I think uh, <clears throat> we answer this question every week. Uh, uh, we have not taken a position on that, Comrade Willa Dikanye. Uh, uh, we have explained this. Uh, uh, so we will answer, or oh, you will be the first one to know. Uh, 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 co comrade Fuyana Alfio says, Comrade Mabuto Nicholas Mapenoa Mumbuzo Uti, Kunganu Mapenduli, Ujabu Hangami. I've responded to him. Uh, uh, I, I, I've, I've tried to respond to all questions. No, thanks so much, comrades, for the questions that, that you sent. Thanks all of you that are participating, Comrade 
bongeni ntuli ki Brighton mdojwa skodu shengwenya all of you sindi songwenya Benny Moyo, my commissar. Thank, 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 you, thank you so much, comrades. We will be uh, analyzing the 26th by-elections. Today is Friday. They will be happening on uh, Saturday. We have said that uh, Zimbabwe is a two-party system. So on Sunday, uh, Sunday or Monday, hopefully the official results will be out. We will be analyzing the elections, what they mean, and, uh, and uh, it gives us uh, some kind of direction on what is likely to happen uh, in 2023. Uh, 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 what what we must also just say here is that uh, 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 it is not enough for people to go to a rally. Uh, uh, people need to register to vote. And you cannot uh, 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 base uh, in, uh, your prediction and election outcome based it on the attendance in a rally because people attend rallies for different reasons so you will have a person attending a zapu rally in their community when triple c leaders come the, the same people that attended the zapu rally will attend the chamisa rally they will attend the um, nangakwa rally so people go to rallies for different reasons so it does not necessarily mean that when people are in a rally they are going to vote for you. No. Uh, 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 you need to have political structures and have a register at a certain level to know that in, in this village so many people are registered and uh, of the registered people, these are members of our party and they are going to vote for our party. So you can't base your argument uh, 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 based on the attendees. Uh, people attending a rally and say we are going to win an election. You can only say you are going to win an election if those that are attending are, are registered to vote and that they will vote for you. Because people might come to a rally. Uh, we saw it in previous rallies. We have been campaigning on the ground. Uh, uh, people come with a big rally in 2013 in my constituency, Esbomv. Uh, uh, it was one of the biggest rallies that, that we had. But when the results came, uh, uh, they, they, were, they were different uh, uh, because people will always come for rallies, but that does not mean they will vote for you. But we will analyze uh, based on the results that we are going to receive either Sunday, Monday, we'll do so. Otherwise, comrades, thank you so much uh, for taking part. Amanda.